In this video, I'll teach you how to be assertive, dominant, and direct with your communication. And I'll also give stories and examples that have helped for me. Um, and does that sound fair enough? Good? All right, bet. So, naturally, I'm not dominant and assertive, and I'm not direct. I've grown up as the youngest child, you know what I'm saying? I've grown up as the youngest child living with, with three sisters. There's a lot of feminine energy, in energy you know what I'm saying? Um, and naturally, like I said, I'm not direct and assertive. I've never been the guy that took initiative to be the leader. I've always just been like, okay, I'm gonna just play my role, do what I have to do, and that's it, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I've had some mindset shifts, I've had some communication shifts, I had some shifts within my tone, my eye contact, everything I've done as a man to be more assertive, dominant, and direct with my communication. Now, doing this is gonna improve your relationship, it's gonna improve you in your career, it's gonna improve your friendships, it's gonna improve the respect people give you and the respect you give yourself. Boom, right? So, something that's very important is eye contact. Y'all know this, bro, Yeah, you, you, you know this, bro. Like, you know this. If you see you see the little white boy, Timmy, you know what I'm saying, white boy, Timmy, his hands in his pocket. He he not looking at niggas. He being all weird. Like his, 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 oh my god, I know a nigga, bro. Oh my god, I know a nigga that used to be like these, bro. Hands in his pocket. He had a messed up voice. That's my nigga though. But he had a mess. <laughs> niggas that go to my school, you know what I'm talking about. But he had a messed up voice, hunched back like these. Like, bro, niggas not gonna respect them. Niggas not gonna respect them. Niggas is not gonna respect them. Right? Boom. So like I said, eye contact, posture, tone. Is very important. I'll give y'all a tip when it comes to me with eye contact. I don't like giving niggas eye contact. I'll be honest. I like giving females eye contact, but niggas, I don't know. I just, I just, it just feel like I don't know. It's just weird to me. Like there's been times I'll be, I'll be right next to my bro right here, like my my friend or something like that, and, and we'll we'll both be facing facing this way, and I'll talk to him like this. Like I don't know. It's weird. It's not like I'm a or anything, but it's just I don't know. I don't like giving niggas eye contact, but you have to at some point in time. So what I do sometimes, I'll look at I'll look at someone's nose or I'll look at their lips, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really, or you look like like right here type stuff. You don't have to like look in their eyes. Just as long as your face is looking in that, their direction and that's, that's good enough, right? So eye contact one. Two, here are some questions you can ask people after giving a command, after saying what you would like, after just giving a statement that will make them be able to, you know, feel more. This is basically how you ask someone for something and they'll most likely do it for you, right? Now, y'all show me the difference. Um, hey, can you, can you like, uh, can you stop like posting your body on Instagram? Like it makes me feel very uncomfortable as in it. Like, like I don't want guys talking to you. To this, you could say something like, do me a favor. I don't appreciate you doing this type of stuff, posting yourself on Instagram. This type of behavior and you doing this is very unacceptable and I would not tolerate it. And you explain it type stuff and you end it off with these couple of words, right? You can end it off with, do you understand? People are not going to agree to being incompetent. People like being incompetent. So when you say, do you understand? So when you say, hey, can you give that to me? Do you, like when you, express that you don't appreciate someone doing something and then you explain why and you say do you understand they're going to most likely say yeah because they're not going to want to sound incompetent if you say oh i don't understand then they sound incompetent right and then if they don't then you address okay why do you not understand it gets straight to the point the next thing you can ask right is do i make myself clear of course you make yourself clear if you if you state what you don't like you know what I'm saying, to a female, to a colleague, you say, I don't appreciate you doing this because of this. Do I make myself clear? They're most likely going to say, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, the third one, the third one is something you can use with sales. I've used this within sales with the offer up. I said, good, good morning. And I said her name, like, good morning, Anita, right? Good morning, Anita. I really love this art piece, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'll be in the area to pick up uh, another art piece. I was not gonna be in the area to pick up another art piece, right? This is Vanessa, I'm putting on the game. Um, so I said, I love, I don't really ask people for things, I just tell them what I would love, right? And I'm gonna get more into that. Um, 
So I said, I love this art piece. I would love to know when I can purchase and pick it up. I'll be in the area soon, blah, blah, blah. And then I said, um, I've also wanted to know if we can negotiate a bit down. I said a bit, I said a bit down on purpose. There's, it's, it's insane how just adding one word within your sentences can really get something out of people and can really make a difference to where people respond to what you say. I said, I wanted to know if it would be unreasonable if we can negotiate a bit down to $25. Now I'm gonna break down two words that help me be able to negotiate th that low. Using the word bit. I don't know why, but it works when you just say bit. I guess it's like, like you can see something and someone can be like, oh, that's big. Then you like, you kind of like agree to it. Like, oh, that's big. Like, I don't know. Just saying words like big, small, large, little, use, say it within that, that will help you. Right. So that's why I say a bit down. Right. The next thing is I wanted to know if that's unreasonable. Well, who's going to say something's unreasonable? Who's going to make money, right, for something that they are selling willingly themselves and going to say it's unreasonable? When? People are not going to be like, oh, yeah, that sounds unreasonable. They're not. Most likely. Unreasonable. You know what I'm saying? If you say, oh, would you like to? Would you, would you like to sell me for $25? I don't know if I would like to. <laughs> you, get, you, see, you, see, you see the difference? Chat, you see the difference? You see the difference? If you ask someone, oh, I would like to see if you can uh, negotiate down. Well, do I want to negotiate? Well, if you say want, I want to see if you want to negotiate down. We'll be like, well, do I want to go negotiate down? I really don't want to negotiate down. I... I rather uh, sell it for how much I was selling it originally. But when you say, I wanted to know if it's a bit, if it's unreasonable to negotiate a bit down to twenty five dollars, right? I'm putting y'all in a game, chat. Come on, these are words that you, bro. The word selection you use is very important, very important. Um. So yeah. Being very expressive too is important when being assertive, dominant, direct. You have to be expressive when you don't like things. You have to be expressive when you appreciate things. You have to be expressive when you don't appreciate things. This is a problem that I've had. Um, I am naturally a pe people pleaser. I naturally avoid a confrontation. I just do. Um, why? Maybe it's because I've grown up hearing a lot of arguments, so therefore like I just avoid it. But when you're being assertive, dominant, and direct within your communication, as a man, especially within your relationship, or if you're a manager, God damn, nigga. <laughs> as a man, when you're in a relationship and you're a manager, you have to express appreciation. And when you feel that someone is doing something that you don't appreciate. Another thing of being assertive and dominant is having standards and expectations of people. Now I've said it before that like, I don't have expectations of people because I would not be disappointed. I only have expectation for myself because if I disappoint myself, then I can change that, I can control that. If someone keeps disappointing me, I can't control if they're gonna keep disappointing me. But, but have a standard and an expectation of how people will treat you, respect you, love you, do certain things for you, have a standard for yourself that people must have for you. And when that standard is being fallen under, you didn't express when it, you don't appreciate that. You didn't express when it's not, when it's lack, right? But when that standard is being hit, you didn't express when it's hitting that standard. You express your appreciation. Um, doing this is basically just positive reinforcement, negative reinforcement. And you don't have to argue with people. Just say it. Just express it. Um, this is all off the top of my head, so I may have moments where I say um, and I think of like what the next thing to say. But yeah, you will be very surprised how much people would like how much your female will feel. You will be surprised, right? How much people would do things for you if you just ask. You just ask. 
and you just express what you would love for people to do. And people get the the word dominant and assertive with controlling. I'm not controlling at all. I'm not controlling within my relationship. I'm not controlling within what my friends do. I'm not controlling what other people do. There's been many times I've expressed people, hey, you're a grown man, you're a grown woman, you do whatever you do, I'm not gonna control you, but I will express what I would love and I will express where I don't like. But I will let them know, I'm not controlling what you're doing and I don't control you. You do what you wanna do. And you can set it like this, right? You're a grown woman, you get to do whatever you want to do. Well, no, <laughs> not like that. But you're a grown woman, I'm not gonna control you, but I would love for you to do this. And you get to choose whether you want to do this and have a good relationship with me. Where was that control? That was not controlling at all. And a female would listen and be like, you know what? I am in this relationship. He loves when I do this. I would do it what he loves. And I've never, I, I didn't say, I didn't say no. You like, I didn't raise my tone. I'm not going to get loud with you. I'm not going to say you must do this. No, I just say, hey, you're a grown woman. I'm not going to control you. I would love if you do this. If you don't do this, um, I forgot what I said. I got to really start putting notes <laughs> when I make videos. But yeah, I get what I'm saying as in not being controlling. Being dominant instead of is not being controlling. It is having a standard leading and allowing people to follow if they want to. And if they don't, and they don't meet your standard, and they don't meet your expectation of how they should treat you, then, then dip, dip, dip. That's all it is. Lead, have standards, expectations. When it's failing, you express that it is failing. You express that you don't appreciate that. When it was hitting that, you express that you appreciate that. You give praise, you give thanks, you give gratitude, and express that. Um, so yeah, man, this is a video on how to be assertive, dominant, and direct with communication. Uh, hopefully, bro, use the things that I've told you. Whether it's, when I said eye contact, when I say when you're done making a statement on what you stand on and your standard of what you expect of your woman, what you expect of how people would treat you, when you're done making that statement, you ask them, do you understand? Most likely they'll say yeah. Cause they're not gonna they're not gonna admit that there's that they're the incompetent of the obvious words that you said. You can say things like, "Does that sound unreasonable of me asking this for you, or me loving this for you, for me loving that you would do this for me?" Most likely, they would say, "You know what? That's not unreasonable, right?" The third one is another sales trick, saying things like, "Sounds fair enough." Well, people are gonna be like, you know. That does sound fair enough. People are not going to really say what you say is like unfair or something like that. Especially when you just express that you will love this. You you see do you see that pattern that I'm having that I'm I I don't ask people to do things. I just tell people, but I would love if you do this. I don't say can you do this. I don't say, I don't say oh do you want to do this. I would, I just say bro I would love if you do this. And they get to choose whether they want to do something that I would love or not. That that's it. That, that, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it's kind of dope because it, it works for the people that don't like to ask people for things. I've, bro, I'll give you this story, right? There's a time where I was living with my sister and her boyfriend and I had no phone, right? I had no, did I have phones? I don't think I had a phone. I didn't have no phone. Um, and there was a time where I used to watch like GTA role play videos. Y'all know RNG, Remy, all of them. And I love watching the GTA role play videos. I had nothing to do. And I was just bored sitting down. And I usually was using I usually use my sister iPad. So I go in her room, I knock on the door, she said, hey, come in. I go in her room and I just look at it and I just point to my eye. <laughs> wrong with me bro i literally just pointed to my eye i didn't know how to express that i wanted to use an ipad i i don't like asking people for things i don't like being consistent in the things that i ask for i don't like being needy i don't like bothering people so i literally just did this she was like huh i'm like <laughs> i'm like like i was i was not saying it out loud but i was saying 
She's like, huh? She's like, wait, do you want my iPad? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and I was able to get the iPad, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's dope, like I said, because you're not acting. You're just saying, I would love for you to do this. And they get to choose whether they want to do it or not. But nah, man. Oh, yeah, I enjoyed the video. If you don't know I am, my name is... Can you do it? I messed it up, bad. If you don't know I am, my name is Vida. I have a community of like-minded men and women that wants to get mentally, physically, financially, and spiritually. If you want to do that, I give you this ticket of becoming a jumbo boy. Use it wisely. And I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'm out. Gang.